Whatever happened to come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord. You know, whatever happened to the scriptures that tell us to boldly confess Jesus as Lord to the world and to, to make him known to the world. And of course, someone who's trying to, to keep all this undercover just to themselves. The worst part about it is the self-deception that goes on as these folks are praying to a different Jesus, endearing themselves to a different God, and then proclaiming, first thing you have to do in the mosque, this is the way I understand it, I was never a Muslim as you were, but you have to proclaim right. that, uh, as you just said, that Muhammad is the only prophet and Allah is the only God. Right. And uh, to deny the, the identity who God is, God revealed himself as a triune yes, right. God in the scripture. And in Islam, it denies the trinity of God. So for the Insada movement, where they go under the, uh, the premise that Allah is Yahweh, that's blasphemy. You deny the triune God as who he is, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, because it's offensive to Muslims, this trinity. And for Jesus to be the Son of God and the incarnate Word of God, offensive to Muslims. So they said, look, let me show you how to be a true follower of Isa from the Quran. And the thing is, they never introduced the Bible as scripture. They, there is no fellowship of Christians for that convert to come out from. Actually, they are encouraged to stay in the mosque, encouraged to read the Quran, verses only from the Quran, verses pertaining to Isa. There is no fellowship, there is no singing, uh, praising the Lord, because this convert, the insider convert, uh, still identify himself as a, as a Muslim. He d- still denies the Trinity, still denies the sonship of Christ. And even the, it's interesting, even the imams, the Muslims who find out about this inside of movement methods, they say, look, this is not Christianity. This is not even Islam. So they are creating a brand new occult, brand new heresy that neither the, the devout Orthodox Islam Muslims deny or reject. And we as Christians, evangelicals, deny and reject. But yes. yet mm-hmm. we have American product now is being exported worldwide by saying this is the way to reach Muslims for Christ. It is really a no man's land. I want to hear it from you. I know that the word Allah is, is the Arabic word for God in, in most of the Arabic translations or dialects, right. but who is this Allah? Just quickly give us that, okay, and then we want to get right into talking about something called kingdom circles. Well, to me, it really goes back into First John chapter 4, verse 1 through 4. It's a, a clear cut about what kind of spirit I need to follow and believe. If a spirit denies Jesus came in the flesh, it's not from God, an antichrist spirit, which means Islam spirit denies Jesus came in the flesh which means anything that Islam produces, whether it be the Quran or the Islamic traditions called Hadith or Islamic uh, Muhammad's biography called Sirah, anything, any teaching or Sharia law, any product of Islam or the product of that spirit is an antichrist product, including, I know a lot of people are going to be really mad at me by saying this, including Allah of Islam is not the same God of the Bible. No, it's so not, it's not exactly. not the same God of the Bible. Who is he? It's an antichrist or a, a demon or Satan himself. Of course, that's definitely politically incorrect, but he is not triune God. He did not send his son to die for you and for me. He is very vengeful Allah, and Allah in his own essence is not love. He is loving, which is an action. Action is not essence. So it's very difficult for me, and it's a hard pill to swallow, which I don't swallow, that to accept that Allah is Yahweh. Yes, the term Allah is Arabic word. If you pick up Arabic Bible right now, the word for God is Allah, which is a bad mistake. Whoever translated the uh, Bible into Arabic centuries ago, he borrowed that term. He should have stuck with Adonai or Elohim or Yahweh, but we stuck with it, which means we as Christians, we need to define who God is. An Arab Christian, if you ask him, who's Allah to you? He said, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. An Arab Muslim, who's Allah to you? He said, non triune God. There is no other God beside him. So we have to define, we as Christians, if somebody tells us who is God, we need to define and introduce God of the Bible. Whether they accept it or not, that's not my problem. That's exactly my right. My job is to explain exactly and be prepared to give an account for the hope that is within me. Be ready to defend the scripture, defend the gospel, defend who Jesus is, and explain typical Muslim objections in a biblical way.